Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Show him who's boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. Happy to have you guys here. I am happy to be here. If you are a first timer to the channel, then welcome to you guys. If you are a first timer to the strat, then welcome to you guys as well. We are about to change the way that you guys trade. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so down below. Click that subscribe button and hit that bell. That bell will give you the notifications for when I send out videos just like this one. Our daily watch list. This one is our daily watch list for Tuesday, May 24th. What Rob calls 2 2 on a Tuesday. We're looking for reversals here, but that's not what we have today. I also send out top five watch lists. I send out informational videos, motivational videos, learning tools like the four part series we have on the hashtag 30 in 30. I have a video on Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule, uh, entries and exits, what these candle numbers mean, okay? You guys asked me to do a trade uh, video on how to manage a trade. I can't manage trades for you, but if you go check out the 200% KDP trade um, video, that one, I go through somewhat of management for the trade, okay? You guys can also follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can comment there. You can DM me there. Ask any question to me. There is no silly question. I will try and answer everything I can for you guys to help you guys out. Okay, uh, you can also do the same thing below on any of my YouTube videos. Comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and let's get started on the watch list for May 24th. So, first up on the list, Mr. Neo, N-I-O. So, leading into Monday, we had a 1-3 setup. Inside bar followed by an outside bar, and I told you guys to play this at this trigger uh, right here to this downside. Uh, right here. I'll put it in for you just so you guys can see and then we'll get into the trade. That's where I told you to trigger to the downside and what do you know we hit targets. Our targets? Where are our targets guys? The bottom of the preceding wicks. Okay. That one looks pretty even but if you look, maybe that one's just a little bit lower. We hit and then reversed back up but we hit this target so you guys should have won on this trade. For today, based off of that trade today, Neo was two down. It was a failed two, meaning it finished green here. And we have a hammer candle, and we have the day in the week green. If you're looking for this indicator, go into the indicators tab, type in time frame continuity, author is board rider B. If you want those numbers below the candlesticks, you can type in candle type the strat. Okay, if you want Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule indicator on your chart, it'll show you where the 50% mark is on the bar. You can type in this, star SSS 50% rule indicator, author is Wolf and Bear. Okay, so let's get into this here now. We have this hammer candle. If we trigger on this thing at 1601 on Neo, we are taking this and we're going to try and hit targets at 1760, Okay. Taking profits in here, anywhere in here is also fine. Okay. Um, what else? I was going to say something else on this, and I don't remember what it was. Um, anyways, let's see what Neo does tomorrow uh, on Tuesday. Okay. So we'll move on here. Chewy, there is a lot of plays on here, guys. I have about 32 or so setups. And a lot of them, like I said in the tweet that I sent out earlier, are inside bars. You guys are going to learn how to trade inside bars. Again, right here, we've got an inside bar. What we actually have is a double inside bar or a double one bar. So inside bars or one bar show consolidation within the ticker symbol or the stock or the ETF or whatever you're looking at. It shows consolidation. Now, we have two days of consolidation uh, on Chewy. So we had this inside bar, which didn't break the high or the low of the previous candle. Then today, we had this inside bar, which did not break the high or the low of the previous candle. So we have a double inside bar. 
If you go on, I think that KDP play that I talked about earlier, that 200% play, it's one of my recent videos. I believe that was a double inside bar. Okay, and then we went through a couple later last week on DIA and... Uh, I can't remember what the other one was, but there were a few of them. They don't come very often. They're very rare. So if we try and go back and look, the last time Chewy had a double inside bar, if we can even find one on here, there it is. Right here. November of 21. Bear with me as I go up there. And they don't work all the time, guys, but they're... They're pretty powerful setups. So here we had this double inside bar. And we opened up. And we went for a good little bit of room there. We didn't hit targets though, okay? But we did trend up. And there was an opportunity for a win there. I, I'm not going to go searching for another one. They're too rare for me to spend any time. But you guys can go back and look and search after you watch the video. And see if you can find any more. And see how they played out. But... Uh, inside bar, like I said, shows consolidation. It acts as a spring, okay? It's, you imagine a spring being loaded and, and squished down, squished down, squished down. And eventually that thing is going to open up and spring one direction or the other. That's what we have with inside bars. So we look for a big bounce to the high side or the low side for, for a big win on these double inside bars. And I think there were a few of them on our plays today. And you guys know if we have double inside bars, they are definitely going to be on our top five plays okay the other thing that we should note here with this inside bar we have this weekly trigger here so if we go to the downside we are triggering short on the weekly as well on chewy okay let's go to a b and b and guys hopefully my sound is okay i saw somebody put a put something out that they couldn't hear my sound they had me full blast and they could barely hear me so if that's an issue for you guys let me know and i'll try and adjust it for you guys hey here's another one airbnb double inside bar same thing, we have full time frame to the downside on this one. So we can look for calls at 115.15 or puts at 110.91. And let's just go back and see if we can find one on Airbnb. There's one right there. And let's see what Airbnb did on their double inside bar the last time they had one. And it looks like you would have wanted to be a part of that. <laughs> uh, where did it go? There we go. I'll try and zoom in a little bit easier for you guys. A little bit more to make this easier. Look, double inside bar. Now we gapped up. But for one, look at this move. Double inside bar, one, two. Look at this thing, three. Off of this double inside bar, we went from 173.81 all the way up to 211 so $40 gain there $50 gain really really nice so again Airbnb I'll tell you right now it's on my top five along with Chewy the only thing we want to make sure of on Airbnb we can go check it out right now on the options profit calculator And if we type in here, Airbnb, we'll get a price. This is taking forever. There we go. Current price, 112. We'll go into the options. We'll see what the spread between the bid and the ask is. So 470 to 495. That's really good. We've only got 25 cents on four bucks. That's on the call portion. On the puts, looks like we are 10 cents out, 12 cents out. Okay. So based on those dollar values, uh, Airbnb is something that we can look at to play based on these double inside bars, okay? So Airbnb will be on my top five list for you guys already. I'm giving you clues. You guys don't even have to watch the next video. I'm already telling you what these things are. Inside bar on BIDU, okay? And I don't know why it's doing this. This has been doing this to me recently. I don't, it's a glitch. The uh, time frame continuity is is glitching there anyways inside bar on bidu we can take calls at 125.75 puts at 122.05 uh the other question i get a lot is what's the strike price so the strike price if we take a call at 125.75 my strike is 126 and i take the closest expiry 
but I'm comfortable with that. For you guys that aren't comfortable with that, you can look at taking the next second expiry out. So if it's the most current is Wednesday, take Friday, okay? Or take a week out, whatever you guys are more comfortable with. Next up, we'll go to DocuSign. DocuSign also has an inside bar. And like I said, there's a ton of inside bars. You guys can look at almost anything. I bet you, you know, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 things you're looking at, 6 out of 10 are inside bars. So DocuSign inside bar day and the week are green. We can look for calls at 78.27, puts at 74.51. TWTR, that's the Twitter machine, a double inside bar on Twitter. We can see here, I'll just move these back. Time frame on the day and the week are green. We can look for calls at 37.98, puts at 36.94. We've got three out of five for our top five plays. Okay, Chewy Airbnb and Twitter. Uber is up next. Uber inside bar. We can take calls at 23.83, puts at 22.71 on Uber inside bar. Inside bar on Alcoa. So we can take calls at 63.65, puts at 59.86. The day and the week are green on the time frame. American Airlines. We got a lot to go through here, boy. Whew. American Airlines. My one of my all-time favorite setups, the 3-1. Okay, so outside bar breaks the high and the low of the previous candle. Inside bar stays within the range of the previous candle. And these setups are also very rare, and they also seem to be very powerful if we go back and look at them. So if we go back and look on American Airlines, the last time we had a 3-1 setup was right here. And look at this gap. Hey, nuts. You guys would have had to be in this pre-market or before the market opened, but seventeen fifteen all the way up to nineteen bucks. This would have been a gap play, and you would have really done really well on it. If we go try and find another three one setup or a three one two, I think Rob Smith calls it the Chicago because it's the area code of Chicago, and that's where he resides. Uh, I can't find another one on here. We're gonna keep going on, keep moving on. 3-1 setup. There are a bunch of 3-1 setups as well, and those will likely be on the top five as well. Okay, AFRM. AFRM has an inside bar. Time frame to the downside, so puts are at 23.48 triggers and 25.55 for the calls. AMC inside bar. Time frame to the downside, so puts at 11.44 calls at twelve dollars and three cents we can go to amd amd has an inside bar we can take calls at 95 19 on amd puts at 90 92 and we also have a trigger to the downside here for the weekly short uh day week and month are green though on amd ba is boeing boeing has an outside inside bar so another three one setup we can take calls on Boeing at 124.55, puts at 120.36. We go back in time to find the last time we had a 3-1 on Boeing. It's right here. Looks like it was a 3-1-3-1. We had a 3-1 setup, and then for two days, we had a really, really nice run up on that 3-1 setup on Boeing. Okay, and again, guys, these plays don't always work out, but probabilities tell us that we have a really good shot of them do working out. And we basically are just doing what the candlesticks are telling us to do. Okay, this candlestick here is telling us to trigger at the yellow lines either side. And this candlestick is telling us to sell here or here, or move our stop losses to here or here. Okay, DraftKings, I know has an inside bar for sure. Inside bar on DraftKings, 1431 for calls. 13.54 for puts. The day and the week are red. Ford Motor Company inside bar calls at 12.95. Puts at 12.50 on Ford. Facebook outside inside 3-1 setup. We're looking for a 3-1-2 Chicago. Calls at 196.99. Puts at 191.24. Targets down here at the weekly trigger to the downside or up here. 
good magnitude on both of those. GE, that's General Electric. Inside bar on GE, calls at 76.40, puts at 75.02. GME, GameStop, 3-1 setup, okay? Calls at 97.28, puts at 91.50. We have an inside bar on the weekly as well. If we go here, there's our inside bar on the weekly. So we're looking to break either one of these as well. So if we go back to the daily, we trigger on the weekly to the downside for puts. Our first target is the weekly trigger, okay? And vice versa, if we go long on this one and we hit triggers to go by calls, our first target is the weekly trigger to go long, okay? Makes sense for you guys, hopefully. If not, let me know. I'll help you guys out a little bit more. Inside bar on Home Depot, we can take calls at 290.34, puts at 280.33, full time frame to the downside on Home Depot. IWM 3-1 setup, calls at 178.96, puts at 175.50 on IWM. Lucid EV Company, inside bar, we can take calls at 18.55, puts at $17.67 on Lucid. Lowe's, another inside bar on Lowe's, full time frame to the downside, puts at 181.39, calls 186.83. Marvel, Marvel Technology, big inside bar there. We can take calls at 54.96, puts at 52.57. We have a weekly trigger down here at our first target for the daily to the downside. MU, that's Micron Technology, inside bar, calls $70.18. Puts $68.51, the day, the week, and the month are all green for us. They are also all inside bars. If we go look at that monthly, where are we going here on this monthly? We are stuck on this inside bar on the monthly, so no clear direction on there. The weekly, which just opened up, is also still inside bar like I had mentioned. So that's on Micron. If we move on to the next one, Nike. Nike, another 3-1 setup on Nike. Calls at 108.75, puts at 105.82. We have a weekly trigger to the downside here. Our target to the upside is right here. Next up, NVIDIA, NVDA, inside bar on NVIDIA. We can take calls at 169.15, puts at 161.79. Plug power, P-L-U-G, inside bar on plug. And you can see on this inside bar here, we had a really nice run down, hit first targets and a little more. We have another inside bar here. So calls at 1664. Third target is a weekly trigger. Uh, 1562 for our downside play. And one, two, our third target to the downside is also our weekly trigger to go short. PayPal, PYPL, inside bar on PayPal. Calls at 82.06, puts 79.28. Then we have Roblox. Roblox, another inside bar, full time frame to the downside. Puts at $30, $29.67. And then we have our first trigger is our weekly trigger to go short, okay? And then if we do trend, tend to go back to the upside, uh, we can take calls at 32.09 on RBLX. SE, that's C Limited, inside bar on SE. Uh, good magnitude to the upside. We can take calls at $80.45. Puts at $76.01. And our trigger to the downside on the day is also our trigger. Is that correct? That's an old trigger. So let's take that one out of there. There we go. So just a daily trigger on SE. Square, I think, had a double play here. Square has another 3-1 setup, okay? So outside bar, inside bar. We can take calls at $84.15. Our first target is the trigger for the weekly to go long at $90.25. If we go short on this and we trigger on the daily short at $79.05, our first target at $78.88 is our trigger to go short on the weekly. So we can switch over to the weekly. You guys can also go check out that weekly video. There are lots of plays on there that have not triggered yet. Most of our top fives, I think four out of the five top fives 
are still available for weekly swings to jump in on. And this is our weekly swing setup. So in inside bar, we're looking for a break of that on block on the weekly, okay? That's square. We have a few more here to go, guys. Tesla, Myasla, inside bar. Tesla can take calls at 680.61 or puts at 638.06. TTD, that's the trade desk, outside bar, inside bar. Calls at 53 bucks. Uh, we can short this thing with puts at 49.69 on TTD. Upstart, I think this might be the last one here. Upstart has a tiny inside bar here. So we can take calls at 45.10, puts at 41.04. We have triggers for the weekly within here as well. So pay attention to that if you want to take upstart a little longer. Guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the top five. That will be also out, out also tonight. So you can look for that. We're going to go through a little bit more in depth on the inside bars and the 3-1 setups. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a follow on Twitter, like the video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.